When you apply for a job, many employers require you to fill out a job application. This workshop focuses on job applications, and we will be looking at questions and answers that you may have, and we can help you prepare to fill them out. Specifically, we will be looking at why and how employers use job applications, also common mistakes, and tips to avoid those mistakes. Red flags, or things employers look for that could cost you the chance at the job. Here we will further explain those points. There are many things employers must be concerned about when hiring workers. Listed here we have a lack of expertise or skills. Perhaps you have a poor work ethic. unable to build a good rapport with people. Next we have dishonesty or theft. Chronic absenteeism or tardiness. Here we have personal or personality issues. And finally, lawsuits. Because of these concerns, employers must be very careful when hiring people to try and avoid these potential problems. One of the ways for an employer to try and avoid these problems is by asking the applicant to fill out a job application. This is an opportunity for the employer to get to know the person applying for the position before they have a chance to look at their resume. Employers use this as a way to eliminate anyone they feel is not right for the job and select people they would like to learn more about. Job applications are different from resumes. While a lot of the information they collect is the same, each of them collects different information as well. Unlike a resume, a job application is signed. An employer asks you to sign it as a statement that the information you provide is true and accurate. To the employer, that job application represents a legal document. Lying or providing false information on a job application can cause you to lose your chance at getting the job. Why do employers use job applications? There's a wide range of reasons, as you can see here. To collect information from the applicants. The company may want to evaluate your experience and your skills. To gain a first impression. And see who you are before the job interview. To communicate legal information. Or to gather information before asking for a resume. And finally, to weed out all of the unqualified applicants. These are some different reasons why employers ask for job applications.
How do employers screen applications? First, they look to see if the application is neat, complete, and accurate. Second, they look to see if you have job-related experience, as well as the skills they require necessary to complete the job. Third, companies will look for what we call red flags, or obvious things that could tell them that there may be problems if they hire you. These can include terminations, past employment gaps that you do not explain, incarcerations, and excessive job hopping. That's another example of a red flag. This information is how companies analyze whether or not you're a valid applicant. Here are some of the top 10 mistakes people make on job applications that you must avoid. First, not following directions. Second, as you can see here, being hard to read or not neatly printed. Next, questions or sections left blank. A wrinkled or messy application. Misspelled words. Not applying for a specific position. An incomplete work history. large, unexplained gaps in your work history. If you don't disclose that information, that does not look good. Not turning it in by the deadline. or turning in an application that has yet to be signed. Here are some of the mistakes people make on job applications that you must avoid. Here are a few tips you should follow when filling out a job application. First, it is important to be honest in your answers. Next, use blue or black ink pens, erasable if you can. Have your information on hand. You can create a fact sheet that contains all of your information so you're ready to fill out any job application. Print clearly and legibly. No cursive. Do not put any or open when asked about the position you desire. It is important to always apply for a specific position. Here are some more tips. When filling out an application, do not leave blanks. Use does not apply or NA if the term does not apply to you.
explain lengthy gaps. For example, attending school or at-home caregiver. It's important to have a reason or explanation for the gap. Be sure to sign and date the application and turn it in before the deadline. Now you should have a pretty good idea of what a job application is and what to expect when filling one out.